Good morning. Just got a grocery delivery with Amazon Prime. You get free Whole Foods delivery, which is really nice. I probably find starting my vlogs the most awkward out of my whole filming day. I don't want to be like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. But I know that that's basically what I do every time. Let me show you my outfit. So I have these cool baggy pants and then this top I got from Free People. I don't shop at Free People very often just because it's more on the expensive side. But I got this sweater and I loved it. It fits so nicely. And then I put it in the dryer. So this is what we have now. It's super cropped, which is fine. Like I can just wear it as a cropped sweater now. But my arms, I feel like my arms look really silly because it used to be like down here. Anyway, it shrunk. I don't know if I should just leave that length. Is that weird? What do you guys think? Today's vlog is going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. I'm really going to consciously try in this vlog to talk to you guys like I'm talking on the phone with my best friends. That's what I like to watch on YouTube when you kind of just feel like you're hanging out with a friend. So Gabe and I have been filming YouTube videos for years and so I feel like it's really easy to, to turn the camera on and slip into still being yourself but more of a like Hi guys, hope you're doing well. This is my water bottle. It's so cute. It's from Target and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. That's still me being me, but it's kind of like a more like polished YouTube version, if that makes sense. I know it's a lot of things. Uh, what am I even saying? See, I want to keep more stuff like that in because I fumble over my words all the time and then I just cut it out and I cut out so much stuff. It's something that Gabe and I try and remind ourselves of a lot is that like it's not all 10 year olds watching us and I think that's something that gets in my head a lot is like oh there's a lot of younger viewers so I have to kind of be this more like polished version i don't curse off camera i don't do anything like that so it's not like i'm being a different person you know what it might not even be different you might watch it and be like jess is literally the exact same going back to what i was saying with like there's just a bunch of 10 year olds watching us i know there are some young viewers but the majority the big majority of our audience is like our age older than us maybe a little bit younger in college our analytics show it when we meet people out in public it's like always people around our age i don't know if i'm making any sense and this totally wasn't meant to be part of this vlog i'm getting nervous i'm definitely overthinking it right now so i'm going to move on from this conversation i just want to brag about one of my besties for a sec my best friend jess she is has been on this channel a few times i talked about her a few vlogs ago she's the cutest and sweetest best person i've ever met she is an awesome illustrator and just came out with her second book called God is Bigger and it's just so precious. I'll leave the link to this down below if you guys are interested. If you have any kids or cousins or nieces or nephews or anyone that you want to read this to, this is one of my favorite pages. God is wider than the sea and look all of her illustrations are just so cute and so well done. What? What is it? What? Oh my goodness. Hi bye. Yeah! Yeah! Ready? Say cheese. <laughs> By the way, my wedding ring is upstairs. I forget to put it on after the shower sometimes and then people are like, oh my gosh, Jess doesn't have a wedding ring on. Sometimes I just forget. I take it off at night. I take it off when I shower, when I do the dishes, when I cook. I'm just trying to protect it. But yeah, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, what happened? Jess doesn't have a ring on. I'm gonna go to package. I'm gonna go get a package that I got the other day. Oh my gosh, I nearly dropped it. Classic. Okay, I got this package a few days ago. I haven't opened it up yet. Very special package all the way from Australia. I don't know, you can see him in the corner of the frame. He is like so intense when we get a package. Cause I think he just thinks it's for him. He's like, what toy is gonna be in that box? <sighs> this is the bridesmaid's dress that I was supposed to wear in December. Milo, you're really ruining the moment right now. When one of my best friends was getting married. Obviously I didn't go, I didn't travel. I, I sort of talked about it a few videos ago. She wanted to ship me my dress anyway, which just like made my heart so happy. This is the first time that I'm seeing it. I thought I'd put it on and send the girls a picture. Uh, I miss them. Oh wow, it's so pretty. Oh my God. I'm gonna go do my hair properly and then I'll put this on and I'll show you guys when I'm all ready. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm going to curl my hair. I want to just get like fully ready to put on the bridesmaid's dress. Is that really weird? Really quickly before I do, get it out of my shower. I want to quickly talk about Function of Beauty. Now, something really exciting about Function of Beauty is that I got to work with them for the first time last year and I worked with them for a few times. You guys responded to it really well. This year I'm able to do a 
long term like year partnership with them which is just crazy so that is seriously all thanks to you guys thank you Function Beauty for sponsoring this part of the video if you have never heard about Function of Beauty they do customized hair care skin care body care you name it it is all 100% customized so you go onto their website you take a short like two minute quiz you go through your hair type your hair goals what color you want it to be what fragrance what name you want on the bottle I started using it from a discount code that I got from Zoe Sugg in like 2018 one of her YouTube videos but at the end of 20 wait what did I say 2018 2019 it was at the end of 2019 I love them because one they're customizable so it's just fully customized to what my hair needs they're high quality they have clean ingredients they don't have sulfates or parabens they're vegan and cruelty free so right here I have their shampoo and conditioner this is in the silvery gray color and then this is a hair mask which I love they have other hair treatments like a leave-in treatment which I used this morning this I put on every time after I wash my hair then they also have a hair serum Ooh, serum oh my gosh my hair loves function and beauty I feel like it's just gotten so long since I've started using it it's grown really well another goal that I always have is thermal protection for when I do use heat on my hair and I think that's helped my hair uh, just stay looking nice and healthy with all that to say I've been using Function of Beauty for over a year now it's all I want to use on my hair bottles last a long time too because there's there's a lot of product in there so if you'd like to try them out use my link below for 20% off so this is my hair all completely air dried so I'm just gonna put a few curls in and then put on the dress This is one of those dresses that you can wear in a bunch of different ways. I'm home alone though, so I'm gonna have to just figure out the easiest one for me to do. Okay, after a quick YouTube search of how to tie these infinity dresses, this is what I did. It seemed like the easiest one. I just did like two knots at the top around my waist. We don't need to look at the back. The back does not look very good. It's such a pretty dress. Let me show you out here. You can see it a little better. I know I did a dodgy job, but it's such a pretty dress. I'm a little nervous to film this section. This isn't something that I thought that I would make a video about. I kind of just thought that I'd keep this private. The more that I've thought about it, the more that I feel okay with sharing this and sharing my experience. So I'm going to tell you why I stopped taking my birth control pill. One of the main reasons why I didn't want to talk about this online is because probably the main comment that really gets to me and that, that I really struggle with is comments about pregnancy. It's been something that I have gotten since I got married and I just think it's a very insensitive thing to ask someone but, but I guess because I share my life people feel entitled to know that answer. The reason I have a problem with it is because I personally know a lot of friends. I know a lot of family that have struggled with infertility. I think for the most part, most people understand that it's quite an insensitive thing to ask people, but I still get, that's probably the main comment that I get is, give us a baby, we want baby Conti, hurry up and have a baby, when are you getting pregnant? Basically every month, someone new thinks I'm pregnant. That's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to say that, that like that, is what was holding me back is because I was like oh, if I tell people that I'm off birth control people are going to think that I'm pregnant or like trying to get pregnant I, I really want to encourage you if you're someone who comments that on people's photos or videos like hurry up and have a baby we want a baby like I know that it comes from such a happy and pure intention I would just encourage you in general not just on my stuff but anyone in general just to not make comments like that now that that is out of the way I started taking birth control before Gabe and I got married I had been on birth control once before and I didn't like it. I went off it. I suffer with very bad periods. It runs in my family. Endometriosis and PCOS run in my family, so my periods are very bad. So a big reason of why I went on the pill in the first place was to help with my bad periods. I also just want to say that obviously I'm not an expert. I went to several different doctors. I'm not trying to give any advice. I would say this has been tugging on my heart for probably a year and it was something that I just pushed to the side and I ignored it. I think birth control was something that I felt like I had control over. I know I talk about it a lot, but I can't go back to Australia. I haven't been able to go back to Australia for most of my married life. And right now we can go back, but it's difficult to go back right now due to COVID. I really want to have a baby in Australia and Gabe knows it and my family 
family know it. I just don't want to do that without my parents, without my siblings. I can't imagine doing that without them. With anything in my life, I know that God is in control and I am so happy about that. And now being off birth control, um, I know that it could technically happen whenever. It could happen at any point anyway. I don't, I feel like I'm not making much sense. Over the last year, I have really gotten into like clean food and clean skincare and kind of just learning about that sort of thing, learning about ingredients. But then I was taking this pill, this artificial hormone, and for quite a long time that didn't sit well with me. I kept promoting to myself and just in my life in general this like healthy lifestyle, yet I was taking something that I didn't even really know what it was. On top of that, I have just felt myself kind of going in a decline since taking birth control. I'm sure not everything that I felt and everything that I was experiencing was due to the birth control, but I just had a feeling that quite a lot of it was. I talked to two different doctors about going off birth control and just what that looked like. I wanted to get my hormones tested, so that's where I'm at now. I watched a lot of YouTube videos like this. I wanted to know other girls' experiences with birth control. I read a lot of articles and I read a really helpful book. If you're still on the pill and it's working great for you, then I'm not trying to convince you otherwise. I'm really just trying to tell my story. I read this book, which was so helpful for me. It's very informative and it, it talks a lot about the negative side effects of birth control. She also just gives you a 30 day guide of how she would recommend eating and that sort of thing in the 30 days of going off the pill. I was very nervous but I was also very excited to see what my life and my body was like off the pill. So I ended up getting some supplements that she talked about in her book and I started taking them a week before going off the pill. I feel like I could make a whole kind of update about me going off and how I've been since if you guys are interested in seeing that. Long story short, I went off the pill in November. A lot of the girls that I watched do stories like this, they said that once they went off they just felt like this weight was lifted and when I was watching those videos I was like oh, I just want to know what that feels like. So it's been a couple months now and I feel so much better in my body. I got my period back straight away which I was so happy about when I got it back. Babe came and gave me a big hug because that was one thing I was nervous about. Since I had been on it for so many years, I know people that either their period didn't come back or it took a really long time to come back. I remember just being so happy when I got it back, but it was so painful. Anyway, I'm not trying to give any advice or convince you to do anything if you are on the pill or if you're not on the pill. I watched a lot of videos that were very helpful for me. It, they just made me feel like I wasn't alone. With the side effects and how I was feeling in my body, they were feeling the exact same thing. So that is my little serious chat. I'm off it and I feel so good being off. Had another period a few weeks ago so things are going well. Anyway, I'd love to know if any of you guys are in the same boat or if you went through anything similar, feel free to text me. I'll put my number on the screen. I'm gonna go back inside and set up our music room because I'm recording a cover today. I'm so excited about it. Ooh.